Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This video should be prodigious, because not only am I going to show you three data sheets for three different characters, I'm also going to introduce a surprise. And until then, I have to uh, keep it under wraps, just so you guys know. For this first character I'm going to introduce is a villain. And if you guys bear with me, I'll try to make this work. Just bear with me, please. Gator. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 450 feet. Weight, 84,000 tons. Status, villain, and lover of Kaizara. Base, untrusted dimension, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, charming, yet savage. He'll always try to cherish his beloved. Lethality, highly lethal to most opponents. Weaknesses, women. Powers, he possesses the same powers as the hero, heroic croc. Eyes, light black, hair, not. Origin. In the untrusted dimension, the native croc is rather a chaotic version of him known only as Gator. One day, Gator joined his soulmate, Kaizara, with a severe fight in a severe fight against their heroic counterparts, Kaijericus and Croc. Luckily, an oversized hologram of Aphrodite appeared out of nowhere and made Gator lose concentration, causing him to morbidly lose the fight. Since then, Gator will always avoid the wrath of Kaizara, for he'd rather perish than to turn against her. Costume. He's covered in green reptilian scales. Tame, solitary with Kaizara and other villains. Original inspiration, Crocosaurus. The next character I'm going to introduce is another villain, which has affiliations with the character I might have introduced in the past, Valentina. Here it is. Hate. Real name, Holly Love. Height, 5 feet 6 inches. Weight, 147 pounds. Status, villain, an enemy of Valentina. Base, untrusted dimension, mobile. Intelligence, four and a half brains. Behavior, savage and stubborn. She's never happy about anything. Lethality, she's a loose cannon. Weaknesses. Love and Cosmic Forces. Powers. She possesses similar powers as Valentina, along with wielding an infinite arsenal of hatred arrows that spread hatred and rage on anything struck by them. Eyes, blood red, hair, bright auburn, and luscious. Origin. In the untrusted dimension, the native Valentina is rather a chaotic version of her, known either as Holly Love or simply Hate. After discovering the default dimension, Hate went and used her hatred arrows to create unintentional riots and chaos across the unwitting dimension. Hearing of this, Valentina went out and defeated Holly after a long fight. Considering her as a severe roadblock, Hate would now do anything to destroy Valentina. Costume. She wears the same outfit as Valentina. Teams. Solitary, with the Omega Gods and other villains. Portal inspiration. Cupid, of Roman mythology. The last one I'm going to introduce is a hero, just so you guys know. And I hope you guys are going with the flow with this so far. Immortal Goat. Real name? None. Height? Six feet. Weight? 244 pounds, status hero, and Legion of Goats member. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful, protective, and clever. He enjoys a good challenge. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, boredom, and being rivaled. Powers, he possesses all ghost-based powers, along with immortality and the ability to speak English. Eyes, light green, hair, bright white, and stubby. Origin. One time, Goddess was examining the gradually forming 
Legion of Goats team, and decided to create something to help them. Using her cosmic powers, Goddess created a talking mill goat that possessed immortality, choosing to name him, choosing to name him Immortal Goat. After being transported to his destined team, the heroic Immortal Goat helped his allies with an infestation of magma lanterlas. Since then, he'd always be cherished as a loyal member of the team and is nowadays a good ally with the equally immortal Immorta. Costume. He's covered with bright white fur. Teams. Solitary with the Legion of Goats and other heroes. Virtual Inspiration, Goat Simulator. Well, those are the three things that I have introduced for this video, and I'll try to make this work in editing, but basically I barely got six new concept art from a gentleman named Cameron. Six pictures, digital remasterings of two of my characters, Kaijericus and Madame Sheer. And as you see through here, supposedly, you will be seeing each of the three different concept arts for those two characters in a total of six. I hope it's impressive for you, impressive for you, and I just, I'd like to hear your thoughts if you want. I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month of May, and if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. And just so you guys know, sometime next month on June 15th, I will have my 10th anniversary celebration. And I'm really hoping that it's worth it for everyone who decides to tag along because I don't want to be a burden or a waste or anything. And I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month. And until next time, in transmission.